אקסל. אני אענ. No demand, no delay. Except one, when the law saw probable. Kailan mo dapat bayan na income tax liability mo? Not later than? Hindi ka nagbayad. The following day, are you in delay? Sagot. Even if the bayer did not make a demand, because law saw probable. Or baka may usapan kayo nung kakontrata mo. Party so, stipulate that there is no need for demand. Or, when time is, yan. Mag-isip nga tayo ng situation na time is of the essence. Halimbawa, ikakasal ka. Umasawa, uma umaasa ka pa bang makapag-asawa ka? Ha? Hindi, gusto ko lang malama kung maaasa ka pa. So, pwede. At pag mag-aasawa ka, malamang gusto mo my church wedding. And, customary or naging tradition, kaugalian, na pag ang babae kinakasal, naka-wedding gown. Ikaw ba mag-wedding gown ka ba? Now, bibili ka ba ng yari na o magpapagawa ka? Ay, siyempre, pagawa, mahirap kang bilhan, no? Nung wedding gown. Kasi yung katawan mo ay pang... Wala akong sinabi. Ikaw na ba? Na? Now, will you tell your dressmaker the exact date and time of the wedding? Answer. Should the dressmaker effect the delivery before that date and time? If she will not deliver, will she be in delay? Even if you did not make a demand. Because you will not be needing the dress, the dress the day after, correct? Will your marriage is still push through even if there is no wedding gown? Yes, you can wear a toga, correct? <laughs> ayaw mo lang, correct? Oh. Eh, maraming pwede, ayaw mo lang. Pwede nga katoga. Pwede nga ang reception, wag sa hotel. Na napakang pwede sa Jollibee, sa McDo. Ba't ayaw mo doon? May, may, ayaw mo, mura na, re, reasonable, may mascot pa. Correct na? <laughs> Or baka naman, <laughs> baka naman, alimbawa, ayain ka ni John Lloyd Cruz pakasal. O oh, ano? John Lloyd Cruz, ayain kang pakasal, pero yung reception, makdo. Ha? Ayan ka. E sabi niya, kung ayaw mo sa makdo, huwag na natin ituloy. Ha? O oh, Jollibee, o, oh, ayaw mo. O, go. Kita mo? So, pag gusto, pwede naman eh. And, basta John Lloyd. Bakit, Gwan? Bakit pag si John Lloyd payag kayo? Ano ba meron si John Lloyd? Lorek? Oh. Gwapo, no? Gwapo. So, malaking bagay ang gwapo. Ha? Malaki, malaking bagay ang gwapo yung lalaki. Ano mas gusto mo? Gwapo mayaman? Ha? <laughs> Pwede yung bot? <laughs> Pangapat, if the man would be useless. Oh. Kahit magdiman ka, hindi niya mafulfill. Or baka naman, ang obligation ay reciprocal. In reciprocal obligation, if one of the parties fulfills his obligation, delay on the part of the other begins. Maliwanag? At sabi rin natin, no one is liable for fortuitous event. Except, oh, except when the law so provides. A and B ay magkaibigan. Mula pa pagkabata, lumaki sila sa Biko. They are now in Manila, mga dalaga na. Ang sabi ni A kay B, Friend, miss ko nanay ko, gusto ko umuwi bukas sa Bicol. Ikaw ba? Gusto mo sa mama? Sabi ni B, kahit gusto ko, parang wag na lang kasi mahirap mag-commute. Hindi, hindi tayo mag-commute. Bakit? Iyahat papahatid tayo sa boyfriend ko. Nakakochi. Ulo namang kochi boyfriend mo eh. Wala nga, pero sabi niya sa akin, dahil mahal niya ako, ano mang magpapaligaya sa akin, may paraan siya. Pahinga mo, tatawagan ko. Sweetheart, gusto ko umuwi ng Bicol bukas eh. Mga 7, 
pwede mo akong ihatid? Sunduin mo ako dito bago mag-7? Ayaw naman, sige, I'll be there. O, oh, tama. Sweetheart, pwede nakakotse tayo? Eh, wala akong kotse. Sabi mo kasi, pag mahal mo, may paraan. Wala bang paraan? Ah, meron. Dahil mahal kita, kahit hindi ko to ordinarily ginagawa, gagawin ko, I will borrow the car of my friend. Ha? Ah, yan ang pag-ibig. Kahit hindi ginagawa, para sa babae, so the boyfriend of A borrows the car of his friend, let's call him F, creating now an obligation to return the car. Palo? O ano? B, tara. Sama ka na bukas ha. Wait. Tatawagan ko rin ang boyfriend ko. Baka mahal niya rin ako eh. No. <laughs> si Tart. Nakainggit si A. Bakit? Mal na mahal siya ng boyfriend niya. Ayoko mal na mahal din kita. Yahatid siya sa Bicol buka. Eh di yahatid kita. Oh. Nakakotse sila. Eh wala nga akong kotse. Eh kasi yung boyfriend niya wala din. Pero dahil mahal niya si A. May paraan daw. Anong ginawang paraan? Nang hiram sa kaibigan. Eh wala naman akong kaibigan may kotse. Asa walang paraan kahit mahal mo ko. Meron, meron. Dito nga pala, maya-maya lang, tapos na itong kinukumpuni kong kotse. Okay, so, ready na to. E eh, nakalagay sa job order, the owner will get this come Wednesday pa. So, bukas kita, susunduin kita. Gagamitin ko tong kotseng to. Parang iro-road test ko na rin. Walang dyo, biko lang road test ko rin. <laughs> so, the boyfriend of B took the car of a customer, let's call him C. Creating like, well, hindi niya ito kinarna para pagkakitaan, correct? Obligation niya to return. <clears throat> the following day, sabay na sila. Parang convoy, correct? <clears throat> Umalis sila mga around 7 in the morning. Headed to Bicol. At around 12 noon, they are not yet in Bicol, somewhere in Quezon. Follow? And it's lunch time. And they're hungry. So they have agreed to have their lunch in one of the restaurants along the highway. Pwede? So they have to park the car. Eh, mainit. Saan magandang i-park yung kotse? Eh, nagkataon. Meron naman dito puno. Correct? Saan maganda i-parada? Sa ilalim ng? Ng? Huwag naman ilalim ng puno. May mga sanga naman eh. Pwede bang ilalim na lang ng sanga? Eh kasi, eh, uhukay pa natin. Eh. Yung mga sanga naman. So, nailipan niya. Naisipan nila, iparada na lang sa ilalim ng mga sanga. Dito yung boyfriend ni A, pinarada. Dito si boyfriend ni B, pinarada yung kotse. And they are now having their lunch. Later, here comes Y. Si Y, sa imbis na pumasok sa uh, restaurant to urinate, decided to just use the tree as a cover. Doon na siya umihi. Sa gilid ng trunk, wag naman sa trunk, babalik sa iyan, eh, correct? Kaya lang, itong si Y pala is under medication. And so, foul odor talaga yung smell niya. And si Tree, hindi niya kaya. So Tree is now talking to God. God. Imagine. I've done my share. I protected the people here, especially during typhoons. I gave them wood to cook their food. And what I get, what, what do I get? Look at this why. He's urinating. There is a CR inside. So God, please, let me die. <laughs> eh, pinagbigan ni God. Nagka-earthquake ng malakas. Dito lang naman. <laughs> eh, kasi ito lang naman ang may request eh. Correct? Wala namang request yung iba eh. And because of the strong earthquake, this tree will fall. It fell on this side. The car is a total wreck. The four hurriedly went out of the restaurant. The boyfriend of B is not very worried because he saw how the tree fell. But he is wondering why the car is not there. And there is a note posted here. We took your car, signed Carnapel. So dito na Carnap. So in both cases, yung dalawang kotse lost due to fortuitous event. Acts of God, acts of man. Tama? 
but notwithstanding, bought a fortuitous event. Wala na yung kotse. What happens to the obligation of A to return? Is this extinguished? Is this extinguished? Ito ba na extinguished na? Yes, ito ay no. The law provides that if your obligation is derived from commission of a crime, the happening of a fortuitous event will not exonerate you. Borrowing a thing is not a crime. It is como datu. Naintindihan? Maliwanag ba? Pangalawa, when there is a stipulation. Party so is stipulate. Pangatlo, when the nature of the obligation requires the assumption of risk. This house belongs to A. This is in Baguio. And A insured this. So my insurance against fire with B company. Today A is in Manila. Around 3 a.m. in the morning, why a vagrant? Palaboy. Walang definite place kung saan nakatira. Pagalagala, vagrant. Is afraid. If there will be no heat, because it's very cold at that time, he may die. He may freeze to death. And he does not want to die yet. So it, he tried his best to enter the house of A. Unfortunately, A was able to close the door and the windows properly. So why did not succeed in entering the house? And he is now very sure in two to three minutes, unless there is heat, he will die. And so to have heat, why decided to burn the house of A? So why burns this house? And so, the house is no longer there because of the fire. Here comes A. A will now ask for, can A demand compensation or payment from B, or should it be directed against Y? Si Y ang nanunog, si Y ang may kasalanan, is A allowed to go after B? or should go after why? Sino ang sisingilin niya? Sino ang kakasuhan niya? Oy! Si B o si Y? A will go after Y. Mali. He will go after B. My dear, the nature of the obligation of B requires the assumption of risk. B cannot say that is arson committed by Y. Because A has a contract with B, insuring it against fire. Who will go after Y? It is B who will go after Y. And not for A to go after Y. Follow? Naintindihan? What if ang obligation mo naman ay galing sa utang? So kung yan ay loan, hihingi ka naman ng interest. Tama. Magkano ang amount na interest na pwede mong singilin? Sabi, ang maximum na masisingil mo ay 6%. Pag nag-exceed ka dyan sa, sa tinakda ng law na 6%, ang mangyayari, pag nagningil ka ng sobra, excessive, okay? Ang siningil mo, paparusahan ka ng anti-usury law. Kasi yan ay usurious transaction. May penalty makulong. Subalit, bakit may naniningil ng 5-6? Eh, ang 5-6, 1 peso for every 5, correct? That is equivalent to 20% per month. Eh, yung 6% per annum na yan. So, definitely excessive, correct? And therefore, you violate the anti-usory law. Will you be put to jail today? Not yet. The anti-usory law is suspended. And therefore, you are now free today 
to stipulate. O, kung may stipulation tayo, provided hindi siya excessive. Correct? Kasi pag siya naging unconscionable, excessive, pwede kang umangal sa korte. And the court will reduce. Kaya kung tingin mo, yung 5-6 napakataas, pwede mong iangal sa court. Ibababayan ng court. Yun nga lang, wala namang umaangal. Correct? Kaya walang kaso. Kasi nga naman, kung ang inutang mo lang sa 5-6, 1,000, ang bayad niyan, 1-2. Kasi yung 500-600 eh. 1-2 in 1 month. At kung maningil pa yung nagpautang, araw-araw, 40 pesos, pupuntahan ka. Mas madali daw magbayad ng 40 kesa pumunta pa sa court para magreklamo. Nagbabayad na lang ng 40. Naintindihan? Lagyan natin ang illustration. Si Miss A ay my boyfriend. At mayroon ding best friend. Itong dalawang to, umuutang kay A. Eh, dahil we withdraw ni A yung pera niya na naka-deposit sa banko, pa naman hindi masyadong unfair kay A, nagkasundo sila na ang utang na to babayaran with interest. Pwede? Oh. Inutang yan, November 25, 2015. Nagkasundo sila ang due date, November 25, 2016. Pwede yan? Kapag ka ba umutang sa'yo boyfriend mo, papipirmahin mo ba siya ng promissory note? Pwede hindi na? Hindi na, no? So, oral lang yan. Ito, gumawa ng promissory note. Follow? Kailan mag-juju today? Eh, kaya pala, na in, kaya pala sila ng utang. Magkasama sila na pupunta ng ibang bansa. Mm -hmm. Sila pala ay may nararamdaman sa isa't isa. Nasa bandang Ditip yung nararamdaman. Pag-ibig pala. Oh. At nalaman nyo ni A. Kaya galit si A. E due date ngayon. A, today, demands payment. Walang due kayo. Ginisa nyo ako sa sarili kong mantika. Magbayad kayo. Ang ginawa ni boyfriend, nagbayad. Oh. Boyfriend, pays. Today, due date, November 25, 2016. Dapat bang bayaran ni boyfriend yung inutang na principal at yung tubo for one year? Si best friend dapat din magbayad, correct? Si best friend nagbayad. November 25, 2016. Dapat ba niyang bayaran yung principal at interest for one year? Dapat bang magbayad si boyfriend ng principal? Yes. Interest. Si best friend, principal? Yes. Interest. Yes. What if hindi nakabayad dahil sa financial problem? Following year pa nakabayad. Si boyfriend ba babayarin yung principal at yung interest bali dalawang taon na? Correct? Correct. Babayaran? Yes. Babayaran? No. Babayaran? Yes. Nagbayad din ito November 25, 2017. Babayaran ba yung principal at dalawang taong tubo? Yes. 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 Bakit hindi? masisingil ng tubo si boyfriend kasi boyfriend kaya boy si best friend valid ito boy ito valid kasi ito ay damages because of delay 
ito balid, ito para sa delay. Follow? Any stipulation requiring payment of interest must be in? Thank you. Kapag naka-oral, forget. Maliban kung penalty, correct? Kaya kaya niyan, penalty na yan. What if matatapat ka sa debtor na istabon? Ayaw magbayad. Ayaw magfulfill. Ano ang pwede mong gawin? Buti na lang may itinakdang mga rights para sa lalagyan ko siya ng kwento pero hindi ibig sabihin ito ang order of priority. Correct? Siyempre, ang unang-una mong gagawin to exact fulfillment. Tama? Meaning, you will demand payment or performance. Pupunta ka sa court. <coughs> Ay, nagulat ka. Nagalit pa yung deto. Pambihira ka. Padimadimanda ka pa. Nakita mo nang gipit ako eh. Ginigipit mo pa. Sa ginawa mo yan, lalo kitang hindi babayaran. Bakit? Mapapakulong mo ako? Ito, Constitution. Basahin mo yung Bill of Rights. Isa sa dalawang, dalawang nakalagay dyan, no person shall be in prison for non-payment of debt. Hindi kita babayaran. Anong gagawin? Ay, sabihin mo lang. Okay lang. Dami namang karapatan eh. Yung isa, i-exercise ko. Ano yun? baka mapahiya ka sa lugar niyo ha? at bakit mo ako hihiyain doon hindi kita hihiyain doon mapapahiya ka because pupunta ako sa isang karapatan I will now exhaust your property exhaust the debtor's property except na lang yung mga exempt sa execution correct? hihilingin ko sa korte itong property mo maisuhan ng rate of attachment pag inattach ang property ng debtor here comes the sheriff what will the sheriff do with the property the sheriff will sell at the libebenta magkakaroon ng proceeds ibibigay sa akin oh. sino ang nagmukhang nakakaya sa lugar nyo di ikaw sabi na naman ni Detor, bakit may properties pa ba ako? Kuha <laughs> lang Diyo. Nasaan yung mga properties? Nag-imbestiga ka. Ay, bakit nakay? Relative niya yung kotse. Bakit yung kanyang mga alahas nasa kaibigan? Aha, ipinatago, ipinahiram, ipinagamit. Yung pera, pinautang. Ah, so dahil pinatago mo, pinahiram, may karapatang kang bawin. At dahil pinautang mo, may karapatang kang maningil. Ako maniningil, ako babawi. Pupunta ako sa court, correct? I will exercise. All your rights, Mr. Deto. Except na lang kung ang rights mo ay personal in nature. Baka may asawa ka, wala akong karapatan po din yun. Anong gagawin ko? Action? Sobro? Gatorya. Sabi niya, bakit nagtatago ako, nagpahiram ako? Wala nang property na ako may-ari, no? Uh -huh. Hindi na ikaw ang may-ari. Bakit nalipat ang pagmamayari? Dinonate pala, nakakita ka ng deed of donation. How can you donate? How can you be generous if you are causing injury to your creditors? So ang ginawa mo ay tinatawag na in officious donation. You don't have the capacity to donate because you are a debtor. Unahin mo yung utang mo. Kaya ang gagawin ko, mapapahiya ka sa pinagregaluhan mo. I will impugn. I will ask for rescission. Ipapabaliwala. 
lahat ng ginawa mo, ask Mr. Del Torbichwell, designed to defraud the creditor. And the creditor was deprived of the right to enforce his claim. Pupunta sa korte, mag-a-action, Poliana. Klaro? After establishing the preliminaries, pag-aralan na natin ang obligation ng debt ng tao. Obligation. Merong mga obligations na demandable at at saka na iba. Kung yan ay pure or simple kasi walang condition or period. Pwede rin meron basta yan ay reso lutory condition or resolutory period. Ang tanong, paano mo malalaman kung siya ay condition or period? Itatanong mo lang to, will it happen? Mangyayari ba? Kapag ang naging sagot ay yes, mangyayari yan, period yan. Kapag ang naging sagot ay maybe, condition yan. Si C ay papasa sa CPA board exam, mangyayari yan? Sagot? Maybe. And there, si C, papasa sa CPA board, mangyayari? Maybe. Maybe, kaya condition. Si Y, mamamatay, mangyayari yan? Yes. Period. And therefore, if there is certainty that it will definitely happen or come, period yan. If there is no certainty, it may, it may not. Condition yan. Ano pagkakaiba ni resolutory sa suspensive? My dear, paano natin malalaman kung ang condition suspensive resolutory? Titignan mo yung fulfillment ng condition bago ma-fulfill ang condition pag suspensive walang obligation may obligation kapag resolutory upon fulfillment obligation arises here obligation ends bibigyan ka daw ng 10,000 buwan buwan kung ikaw ay papasa may obligation na ba na bigyan ka ng 10,000 wala pa hindi ka pa pumapasa sa CPA board. Tama? Bibigyan ka daw ng 10,000 buwan-buwan hanggang makapasa ka. May obligasyon na? And therefore, if it is resolutory, obligation is there, it ends upon fulfillment. Yun nga lang sinasabihan tayo ng law na pag naglagay ka ng condition, the condition, my dear, should be not contra re to law, morals, good customs, public order, and, and dapat hindi siya impossible. Lagyan natin ang illustration. A will give 8 million pesos to B. If B will kill C. Is the condition valid? No. Sagot? Hindi. Kaya, void. Killing a person is contrary to law. If C will die, valid? Dying is not contrary to law. Kasi kung dying is contrary to law, sa imbis na ilibig, ikukulong. Follow? If B will have sex with A, for one week. Balder Boyd. Boyd, contrary to morals, law, and public policy. Kapag may bayad ang sex, yan ay prostitution. Dapat walang bayad. Matanong nga kita, should sex be between two persons who are married? Sagot! Sagot! Yes, wow! Kalain mo yan? Sex should be between two persons who are married. Si Mr. A married na siya. Si Miss Y married din siya. 
nag-sex yung dalawa kasi sabi ng reviewers, pwede daw. Um, or sabi ng mga reviewers, pwede daw tayong mag-sex kasi para tayong kasal. Um, yan, yan ay kamamali mo eh. Na, eh should be to each other. Married to each other. Follow? Follow. Kaya boy dyan. If we will slap the faces of her parents when she reaches home. <laughs> Contrary to good customs. My dear sa Philippines, ang parents, when we arrive, we get their hands, put their hands onto our forehead to show love and respect. Lately, however, others are just having beso-beso. That's accepted. Walang problema. Any manner, no? How to show love and respect, but never to slap. Sino? May magulang ba? Magpapasampal sa halagang walong milyon? O na, ito. Sino? Dalawa pa. Kaya sa tatay mo, sinasampal ako, libre pa. Now, if they will post loot. Valid or void? Bad or void? Valid dyan. Tatlo na yung void eh. Alam naman walang answer. No. My dear, posing nude is not per se prohibited by law. It's not mala in se. My dear, try visiting some art galleries. Will there be a possibility you may see some painting showing nude women? Do you think the painters did this out of sheer imagination? Chances are they engage the services of a woman who post nude for that painting session. Ang kasing katawan ng tao, lalo kung babae, ay work of art pag naipaint mo ng nude. Sayang nga lang di ako nagkaroon ng talent na magpaint ng nude. Kung marunong lang ako, baka offeran kita. Nude painting. Kasi tingin ko maganda kang medium. Hindi ka mahirap lagyan ng title eh. Bawa, ipipaint ka tayo yung body mo. Is this a human body? O, di ba? So, may intriga yung mga kakakita, correct? Manguhula pa kung katawa na. Now, magiging void siya if we will post nude beside Rizal Monument. Ah, yan. Kasi nasa public ka eh, correct? Magiging void. If we will draw a rectangle with four sides. Bother boy. Sagot. Walang joke ka. Bali dyan. Hugis lang. Hindi mo pa alam. Ang anong-anong ano hindi? Ano hindi? Eh, apat ang sides niyan. Ah. Ah, ang nabigay kasi, kaya ako ginawang rectangle. That is a board circle with four sides. Impossible. Correct? Oo. Pero yung rectangle, apat po ang sides niyan. Kaya mo ayaw. Kasi ang nasa isip mo, square. Ang square, apat din ang sides. Ang pagkakaiba? Equal. Yung apat na yung sides, equal. Sa rectangle, dalawa lang. Correct? Tama. Oh. Ay, naku, pag-aralan mo yung mga hugis, ha? <laughs> Naintindihan ako. Ngayon, ang tanong, kanino nakasalalay ang pag-fulfill ng condition? Kapag ang fulfillment, my dear, ng condition ay potestated. Oh. Meaning, nakasalalay yan sa soul will of one of the parties. Pag nakasalalay kay debtor at suspensive, forget. Boy, dyan. Kailangan resu Lutori. Pag nakasalalay kay creditor, whether suspensive or resolutory. Ang premise natin, A, will allow B to 
use his car. Nilagyan niya ng if. If A will go to Baguio tomorrow. Boy. If B will go to Baguio tomorrow. Bali. It is suspensive depending upon A. A si A ang deto eh. So all A will do is not go to Baguio. Wala nang right si B. Pero kung sabi, A will allow B to use his car until A returns from Baguio, valid. Until B returns from Baguio, valid. Kapag resolutory, whether debtor or creditor, valid. Paano kung casual, nakadepende sa chance? Yan ang premise, ha? A will allow B to use his car if there will be rains in Baguio tomorrow. Pwede? Nakasalalay sa pag-ulan. Chance? Or, if it is dependent upon the will of third person, if C will go to Baguio tomorrow, nakasalalay kay third person. Or gagawin natin combination ni potestative o at ni casual. Kaya yan ay pinaghalo mixed. One, depending on will of one of the parties and will of third person. If B will marry C nakasalalay kay one of the parties and third person. Or a combination will of one of the parties and chance. If B will go to Baguio tomorrow and we have rains in Baguio tomorrow. Combination. Claro? Lagyan na natin ang illustration. Para madali. Today ay November 25, 2016. Si A is to give his only horse to B. If B will pass the May 2016 or uh, 2017. The May 2017 CPA board. Valid? Valid. Can B ask for the horse, not yet. The following day, birthday ng girlfriend ni B, sabi niya kay si B, sabi ni B kay si, si, badly needed ko pera eh. Girlfriend, birthday, bu, uh, ger, ber, birthday ng girlfriend ko. Pwede bang bilhin mo na lang yung kabayong yan? Niloloko mo ako B, hindi naman sa yan, kay A yan eh. Basahin mo yung contract namin. O pag pumasa ka daw, eh, if you doubt, don't buy. Eh, kung bibiling ko naman, kailan ka tababayaran? Ngayon. Kailan may di-deliver? Sa May. Eh, paano kung di ka pumasa, ibabalik ko pera mo doble? Oh, walang lugi. Nakonvince si Binili. November 26B, sells the horse that A will give to him to see and see Pays si B to deliver May. May. The following day, November 27, birthday naman ng girlfriend ni A. Sabi ni A kay D, D, bili mo yung kabayo ko. O, ibibigay mo yan kay B pagpasa niya. Bakit? Papasa ba siya? Eh, kung bibili ko, kailan ko makukuha? Ayan, kunin mo. Akin ang pera. O, oh, sige. O, oh, siya. A sells 
the same horse to the D pays. A delivers. D now is in possession. Follow? Lumipas pang mga araw, dumating ang May 30, 2017. B passed. Wala na yung kabayo kay A. A di-deliver niya kay C. Tanong, can B sell this horse to C on November 26? Is the sale valid? Yes. Kailan nagkaroon ng karapatan si B sa kabayo? Kailan siya nagkaroon ng right? Kailan? Nagkaroon siya ng right November 25. The happening of the suspensive condition retroacts on the day the contract is perfected. B has the right to the thing beginning today. But he will have rights to the fruits of the thing I have, he will have rights to the thing beginning November 25, but he will have rights to the fruits of the thing beginning obligation to deliver arises. Fellow, and therefore can B get this uh, horse from D? Yes, because D is not in good faith. He knows that this horse is intended for D. Last time, nung binili yung tuta in good faith. Tama? Ngayon, not in? Ay, ang ganda. Correct? Naintindihan ako. What if ang first day ng exam, first day, is May 8. Nung May 9, uh, May 7, pumunta si A bringing food kay B. B, your chances. Sabi naman ni B, if I don't make it, then no one made it. Ganyan ako ka-confident. Papasa ako. I am prepared. Naalam si A. Eh, di ba naibenta ni A? Sabi niya, buti na lang, may dala akong food. Let's have the food. Eh, hindi alam ni B, this food is laced with drugs. And anyone who eats it will be asleep. Makakatulog for 24 hours, uh, for let's say 12 hours. Oh. Ah, dahil uh, tiwala naman si A, si B kinain yung pagkain. Natapos yon 9 p.m. So he will be asleep for 12 hours. Dumating ang May 8. Okay? So si B woke up. Oh. B wakes up at 9 a.m. na. And this is the first day of the board. Ay naku, hurriedly. Si Mr. B prepared himself. Naligo. Nag-base takbo sa testing site. Dumating siya, 9.01 na. No. <laughs> Ikaw siguro hindi mo kayang gawin. Kaya niya eh. Ayan. Hindi porke hindi mo kaya, walang makakagawa. Siya yun. Ayan. Kukais na. Diba? One minute lang. Ganyan na. Ando na siya. Will he be allowed to take the board? Hindi siya pinagal. So B was not allowed. Question. Si B ba na-fulfill yung condition? Answer yes. Deem fulfilled. Bakit deem fulfilled? Ano sabi ng law? If the obligor voluntarily prevented the fulfillment of the condition, deem fulfilled. Follow? What if iba nangyari? Naitidyan ako? Bakit? Ba't kayo nakatingin sa ba? Uy! Sayang eh. Tuloy ko na ha? Okay. Paminsan-minsan lang yung late kitang dinidismiss. Okay? Kasi continuation eh. What if hindi pa niya na fulfill yung condition. Ako ba yung naiintindihan? Before fulfillment ng condition, yung horse na ibibigay namatay or nawala. E determine. 
is it to result obligation being extinguished? Sagot? Sabi ko na yun ay sasagot. Huwag naman. Alamin mo naman ba't namatay, ba't nawala? Baka naman namatay o nawala due to for 3 to 7, that's the time the obligation of A is kasi the creditor B bears the loss. E paano naman kung pinatay talaga ni A? Oh. At ang fault ni A is A liable for the value of the horse plus damages? Sagot! Sagot! Wag! My dear, wala namang obligation si A. Hindi eh. ba? Walang obligation eh. Saan ko nila? Ayan o, oh, wala po eh. Oh. Oh. Wala namang obligation pag babayarin mo. Ama, o dada, ayokong namamali ka. Kaya maraming namamali. Hindi naiintindihan yung facts. My dear, para maging yes yan. mag yes lang yan. Kung ano? Ayan o, oh, nakasulat pa eh. Binabali, wala may mga sinusulat ko eh. Ayan, nakacheck. Kung mapu-fulfill, correct? E B, fulfills the condition. Kailangan niya munang pumasa. Diba? E, kahit patayin pa ni A, yung kabayo, tapos pagdating ng May, hindi po masasibi, hindi wala. Follow? What if hindi naman namatay, hindi naman nawala, ginalis lang. Ginalis, o namatanda, nausog. <laughs> di ba? O di ba may gano'n, nausog? Kaya nga, may mga taong may usog, tapos ang gagawin, didilaan ka sa puso. Correct? Ano kaya kung may usog ako, no? Magpapadila ka sa puso. Di ba? Ayun na sir, tising ko na lang yung sakit. Di ba? No. So, siya ay na-impair. Oh. Kapag na-impair due to 4327, then si creditor B bears the impairment. Are you following? Pero kung na-impair through the fault ni A, right? Si, si B, May karapatan bang magka-recession na or specific performance? And in either case, makakaingi ba siya ng damages? Pwedeng oo, pwedeng hindi. mag yes ka lang kung sinabihan ka na na-fulfill. Bear in mind, in suspensive condition, hanggat hindi na-fulfill, walang obligation. Are you following? What if hindi na hindi ginalis, hindi na usog, hindi na matanda? Yung kabayo na improve pa. Pwede ma-improve? Pwede bang ma-improve through 4327? Sagot? Yes, wow. 4327 na kabuti. Uy, ang ganda-ganda mo ngayon. Binagyo kami. Sige, tuloy mo yung ganyan mo. Walang joke ka talaga. <laughs> Kaya nga ang premise, no one is liable kasi nga nakakapinsala pag 4327. Correct? Ano napapatunayan mo? Wala kang natututunan eh. Correct? Napapasaya kita. Hindi kita kailangang mapasaya. Kailangan may matutunan ka. Kasi kung masaya ka, wala kang natutunan, malungkot ka sa me. Correct? Galit ka sa akin. Di ba? Oh. Unawain mo naman pag sinulat ko, In-explain ko, hindi nakakabuti ang fortuitous. Kaya ito na-improve by nature. Oh. Correct? Kaya si B, the creditor, gets the improvement. Hindi kasi siya fruit. Siya improvement. Ang fruit, tinatanggal sa bagay. Ang improvement, sumasama sa bagay. Tandaan niya na, Fruit is removed, is detached from the thing. Improvement is attached, incorporated to the thing. Correct? Ang pagganda mo, improvement, although impossible. Pero pwede mangyari. Nakadikit sa'yo. Pag nanganak, tinatanggal. Kaya fruit. 
Naintindihan this thing, John. What if na-improve? Pwede through the fault of the debtor? Sagot. Saan ka nakakita ng fault na kabuti? So, through the efforts of the debtor. A. Si A entitled to the right of A. At pag you sufractuary ka, you have the right to use and enjoy the fruits. Oh. Follow? Bumilis tumakbo yung kabayo. Bakit bumilis? Pinalitan yung sapatos. May sapatos yan? Instead na bakal, ang nilagay ni Air Jordan. Ha? Oh, ang bilis. Correct? Natuwa yung kabayo, magaang sapa. Correct? Then, bagong sapatos. Tama? So, by efforts niya. Am I clear? Ayan. Oh, Alam ko, lack of material time. Well, let us have the continuation next. Naka two weeks na tayo. Correct? At masigla ka pa rin. Tama? Sana magtuloy-tuloy, ha?